It's still a little snowy. But not too bad. I'll take it. Good damn it. Ah. Fine. I'll play it. Fine. Fine. Cthulhu wants to snow me in. Cthulhu will snow me in. I'll, I'll play. I'll bite. It seems the bus has been delayed till morning. Is right. it, sir? That's an awful shame. Awful shame. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. <laughs> nice views over the town, I'm told. You've never been up there? In the... Great. The, that sounds just swell. Um... Are we getting, like, telepathic memories of this guy, or...? Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? Starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Oh, it's not just my face, it's the entire game is starting to go a little white. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It so are we, like, crazy. psychic now, or...? Elizabeth's breeze is not for your outsiders. <laughs> all right, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, Perfectly. sir. Elizabeth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I saw Gil Slits. I saw Gil Slits. Uh oh. Um. Okay, so I know where the Shogoth is now. The Shogoth is currently up at that place where it's blocked off. And there's the key to the door. That key will go to that door. And then we're going to go in. We're going to see the uh, meat that the guy just cut up. It's the key to the back office. Run, 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 run. It's unlocked. I know it's unlocked. I just unlocked it. I'll close the door, quickly, so he doesn't see me. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> this is not well kept. Can't see anything of use. Oh, there's a typewriter here. Nope. Nothing important here. Okay, nothing important. We're going to go a little nope, bit insane in a while, I think. It's this funny. office is a mess. Yes, it is. Oof. This is a mess, too. Is that a heart? There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. It is! Oh, my God. Oh, there's a spine. There's a head! It's a human head! There are severed body parts oh, strewn all God. over the office. Oh, yums. Shotgun. We don't have a shotgun yet. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the heads go in the floor filing system. The hands go in the top. Oh, jeez. Spinal cord just sort of sits on top of there. I wonder where we put the, uh... I wonder if you put the... Uh, I wonder what you put in the Z file, the X. Vertebrae? I wonder. <laughs> God. Oh my god. This is too weird. <laughs> and a pleasant. There's a horrible mutilated stuff, and there's a nice pleasant background. Because, you know, it's so important to keep your, uh. Oh, there's another heart. <laughs> what did I pick up? <laughs> I wonder what secrets this book holds. Secrets? There's body parts strewn everywhere. I think the secret is out, guy. <laughs> oh God! The rug is caked in dried up blood and guts. Blood and guts. Close the door. Okay, I'm guessing as soon as we go out there, a uh, fishy man's gonna catch us, or not. If not, otherwise, though, I'm gonna go read the book and then I'll check. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, so we got currently eight plus one chamber for pistol clip, six for the shotgun shells. So we don't have any guns yet. Uh, oh god, um, I'll be back in a little while, I'm going to check over and see what, what secrets that book held, and then I will check in later, hang on, Ugh. I, uh, I already did this before, but my recording software copped out on me, because I pressed the button at the wrong time, so, uh, again, just a quick little record here, I had to play back to make sure I got everything that I missed, Ugh. 
But anyway, just a brief little record. Uh, basically, what's in the book is our post mo- is the post mortem records of our lovely fisherman innkeeper. Uh, basically, what we have here is the first one was lively, no mistake. Uh, she, you know, kept making music, just singing out and screaming and stuff for a while. So we kept her alive for a little bit. Uh, liver was nice and sweet, and the lungs were good too. Uh, the second one wasn't. We didn't. Apparently, the innkeeper didn't like him very much. He was a New Yorker. Uh, kept talking and talking and talking. Uh, they never shut up, do they? And the last guy uh, was nearly deboned all the way before he died. I'm not sure if he counted the skull or not. Because I'm not sure how you get the, the skull out before then. Also, apparently he must have left the spinal cord intact. Maybe he's just talking about the arms and legs and stuff. Because... He gotta still move his flesh, but all he could do was twitch, so we basically just sort of let the straps off and let it, like, flail around on the floor. Uh, the new gag also works much better, so they were a lot quieter, so Ensmith is upping it up on the torture. They were not, they are not to be outdone by their rivals, Dunwich. So remember that, Dunwich. Ensmith leads. Okay, just gonna walk out here, close the door behind me. And cutscene. If you just follow me, sir, I'll show you to your lodgings. Will do! I heard there was a killing over at the old Waits' house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Yeah. He had to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. Yeah. Your suspenders are broken. Uh, then again, I suppose you'd kind of, you know, have to keep them slightly off to keep the fins nice and comfortable. Oh, thank you. You do give a great service here at the, uh, Psycho Motel. Oh, darkness. Darkness taking over! Yes. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well. And keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet fall. And remember, when you touch yourself, Cthulhu cries. Oh, what the? Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh, boy. Close the door. Bolt it. I don't think there's anything I can move in front of it. This picture is not framed very well. I just don't feel safe going to sleep yet. I don't blame you. Look at this cruddy wallpaper. I wouldn't feel safe with this around me either. I mean, look at this. This, this, this is horrible. Can't see anything of use. Oh, come on, there's some lucky seven cigarettes. Nope, nothing important here. Wait, what's that? What's that? What's that? That looks like a flyer. Nope, nothing of interest. Will not take it. I want to see it. Probably an fly for ends, but it could be an important clue, but no, no, you won't help. The room's cold enough without opening the window. Okay, I'm guessing we're escaping that way. Oh yeah, uh, here we go. Push. An old wardrobe. Old wardrobe. It's too heavy to move. Damn. I suppose I could, like, open it and pull it now. Hmm. This is odd. Oh. <laughs> so it's into the next room. That bolt it. An old wardrobe. That's too heavy to move. It's too heavy. Yep, to too move. heavy to move. All right. Uh. Hello. Scratch marks. Door. An old chest of drawers. Chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. Let's uh. Since this is the room he put us in, I'm guessing we're not gonna go to sleep in this room. So let's go close this door. Bolt it. And then we'll push aside this cabinet here. Oh, come on. It's late. I don't think it'd be wise to wake the other guests. Ah. All right. Fine. Have it your way. Can we go to sleep in this bed? I can't sleep here. It's not my room. It's not your... But I can't bolt it from this side. Uh... An old wardrobe. Fine. If you want to be polite to the nice fishman who gonna kill you in the night. Okay, I bolted those doors, I bolted that door. 
better. Not exactly safe, but the best I'm gonna get in this infernal town. Now you don't know it's infernal. Could be abyssal for all you know. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing D and D into this. Bad Kyle. Bad Kyle. Okay, early evening. Innsmouth turned out to be more <laughs> dilapidated, depressed, and unwelcoming than initially expected. The stench of rotten fish fills the air, while poverty and disease lie festering in every cobbled back street. Only a few of the inhabitants have been at all cooperative. The others are evasive and sometimes downright hostile. My detective's instincts tell me that they're trying to hide something. Why am I reading this to you? End. I'll give you the summary in a second.